All right, guys, it's Dave with Build Alpha back with another technical analysis basics video. Uh, what is ATR? ATR is the average true range. It is another technical indicator that measures uh, market volatility by assessing the range or the average range over a, a rolling window of time. So the true range is an indicator that's taking the greatest of the following. Uh, the current high minus the current low, the typical bars range, or the absolute value of the current high minus the previous close, or the absolute value of the current low compared to the previous close. So the reason we do that is to check if the gap was larger than the current bars high to low range. We'd actually want to use the greater to assess uh, the volatility that is possible. So it is the average rolling true range, and it's typically 14 or 20 days um, you know, that we'll see as the default indicators in trading platforms and charting platforms. So I want to talk about ATR specifically because I think there's a few use cases for average true range. It's a bit unique in that regard. So the first one is setting stops. Most people set stops as a, at a specific level. So let's say you have a stop of $500 and a target of $500. Um, and as the market's volatility changes, your stop does not change. So in the market, Volatility compresses, your stops and targets are basically useless, um, and when the market's volatility uh, expands, your static stops and targets are again useless because they're just too close. So what we really need is some dynamic stops, something like this, that as the market's volatility changes, so does, so does the levels. And the, re and the way to do that, or one way to do that, is to use stops that are multiples of average true range. So as the average true range or the rolling volatility expands, your stops would expand and your, your stops and targets would expand. And as volatility compresses and ATR shrinks, your, your stops would shrink as well. So again, I just wanna look at a quick example in Build Alpha. So we have these eight popular ETFs that I've been using for this technical analysis uh, series of videos. We can just go to ATR and I can create a simple system to stop trading whenever the ATR gets too big. Um, and the other thing we can do is I can set my stops as points or multiples of average true range. So this would give us an ATR stop of two. So if the ATR was 1.5, 1.5, this would be two times that ATR. So we would have a stop of three ATRs, or three dollars in this case, excuse me, two ATRs, which is two times 1.5 for three. Um, and we can do the same thing with profits. Now, if you don't want to use ATR stops, of course, in Build Alpha, um, you can turn it to fixed dollar amounts, and then this would be a $500 stop. But I do recommend testing everything, so please test if using you know, multiples of ATR would improve your results. And I just want to pull up a quick example of gold. So we can see here in the bottom, let's inspect, that when gold's ATR jumped above two, um, you know, things started to get a bit crazy. Uh, and then again, we can see down the road when the ATR fell below two, uh, that's when things really started to improve and, and get, uh, you know, that big bull run. So using ATR that way, how do we use it as a filter? Like, okay, stop trading if ATR is above two and, you know, you know allow trading if ATR is below two. To do that, you can do it either with the ATR built-in signals or we can come here to a custom indicator builder. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new one. We're gonna make it a comparative because we're gonna compare ATR to a level. Let's go ATR filter. And then I'm just gonna come down and you can see the list of some of the things offered in Build Alpha. We have a 20 period moving average and let's just say if ATR is less than two, and then I'll just save that example. And then I can come into my custom signals and just go ahead and turn that filter on. So now all my strategies um, would only trade when the ATR is below two. So if you wanted to add those filters, is you don't want your stops to expand too much. Um, you know, so if this would be like five ATRs, let's say we don't want to risk that much, you could just add a filter um, as I did here to not trade when ATR blows out. So again, ATR, what is it? It's the rolling volatility, uh, the true range of the last 14, 20, however many bars you wanna look at. And we can use it two ways. One is a filter for our trading system, and the other way is to set dynamic 
uh, stops and targets that hopefully evolve as the market changes. Hope that helps. See you guys in the next one.